Good morning, landing crew. Welcome to today's vlog. Today, Noah is going to go see Ortho, so he wanted to show you guys come along on exciting news. We are getting, or I am getting bedroom furniture today. That's what we're doing. See, guys? What? Life changing. What? Let me take your food. All right. Okay. You got it, Noah. You got it. Good job, you've become a pro at this casting. No, I haven't, it's too painful. Yeah, it is definitely getting cooler. It's 54 outside. So today, we're gonna go see about Noah's cast. See if we're gonna get it taken off, if they're gonna shorten it, how it's doing, all that good stuff. Oh, a few moments later. Let's grab the mask. Oh, here, let me help you. Let me help you. This hurts. I know, I know. Does your leg feel so much lighter, Noah? Yeah, no, it feels kind of the same. Cool, you see all that dust? I'm getting yeah, they, they sold everything up. So for those who are new, Noah is 15. Noah has autism, which comes with sensory issues, but he had to have surgery on his leg, and oh, he's man, been in so a, it, it just. I'm not gonna hit your belt, not into the, not, <laughs> not, in, not into the doctor, plus on something. That's a good idea. He's had a cast for six weeks, and like a full leg cast, so we're basically just here to check on it to see how it is. We don't know if they're gonna cast it again, if it's gonna be a partial cast, a knee brace. So we're really not sure what's gonna happen, so we're just kind of hanging tight to see what the doctor why says. It's been so itchy because of all that dust. I feel like I'm, it's gonna hurt when I stand. Is it? We'll see. So how was it, Noah, having a cast for six weeks? It was hard. It's been more than six weeks. Nope, it's only been six weeks. A month? A month and two weeks. You've done amazing. Noah did so good during recovery. In my life, let me show you how it feels. How do I do this? Well, we'll work with this MPT. We'll work with your range of motion. You're going to need some help with getting around a little bit because your leg has been used to being stuck in like a stationary position. So it's going to, yeah, we, it so yeah we, we just don't want you to fall or hurt anything with surgery, but Noah is out of the cast as long as he keeps his brace on. If I take it off, then I have to go back to the cast. That is correct, and that's going to create issues. So we want to so keep you in a brace. So we are getting it going. We got Noah in. Definitely easier than with the cast. He was going to set it front with me, but I think Noah's being a little cautious, which isn't a bad thing. So we are going to go be safe grab us. Yeah, better be safe than sorry. Can I have a soda and a, a Nacho Supreme? Yep. So we're gonna go get some Taco Bell, some yummy food. Uh, they will see Noah back in five weeks. Noah will not be able to go to center until he is what's considered fully healed, which is three months from his surgery date. So he's about six more weeks of being at home before he'll be able to go back to his center. But it's fine because we can do homeschool at home and just kind of work on right. healing. Him healing his knee is our top priority right now. Good job, Noah. Let's get your other leg out. I got you, I got you. Jeez, that hurt like heck. Okay, be careful around the rocks. I know, I can trip. Is that a camera? Can you see me right now? All right guys, we're gonna look to see what my new bedroom furniture looks like. What? Look how high off the bed <laughs> that is. How did you even get up here, Liam? So this is all gonna be pushed this way where this is gonna be flush with this. This is the dresser. Goes underneath the shelf. So nice. What is this? This is my desk. <laughs> it actually matches really, really well. Just 
Noah has really been missing Leo. Leo's his cat that we had at the other house. So while he was gone, I took the opportunity to make up his bed. He just got the furniture and I wanted to share that with you guys since this vlog's about Noah. This furniture has been so insane, so crazy. I'll talk about that in a second. But I went ahead and put all of his sheets on. Looks so nice. He's gonna be so excited when he gets home. This is kind of his furniture. He just wanted black furniture. None of his decorations are hung yet. I am, I'm trying to work as quickly as I can. And then that's his dresser full of stuff. Over here at the window, I'm actually gonna have a desk for Noah so he can do some computer stuff. He is getting a computer for Christmas. Noah does not rewatch our videos or anything for those who are like, oh my God, he's good enough. He doesn't watch them. But Kathleen left early so she could go enjoy herself, take care of herself too. And so we are just kind of hanging out. I'm a little bit behind on work, but I thought I would get on here, close out this vlog, just show you guys a little bit of what's going on. It's actually been about two, three weeks since the last vlog. Moving just took way more out of me than I thought emotionally, mentally, physically, the kids aren't sleeping very well. Lonnie was always the one that would wake up with them in the mornings. That doesn't happen. So, <laughs> so I'm having to handle it all by myself. This is Penelope's room. <laughs> her bed still is not like an actual bed, but her nightstand has come. This is what her furniture. Hi, do you wanna say hi? Um, to kind of catch you guys up to speed, the kids went trick-or-treating. They did amazing. Insert clip. I won't make it easy. Then yesterday, Liam went to the dentist for the first time. I was really nervous about it, but he did amazing. Like he literally just sat there and let the dentist and assistant do everything that they needed to. So my sheets are washing for the weekend, but my bathroom is getting cleaner. We're gonna leave Lex alone and go to your bed, okay, baby? So we have all of the furniture. I am gonna order another table and a few other things, but nothing crazy. I had fall stuff up, but this weekend I wanna start decorating for Christmas. Do you wanna go downstairs? Yeah, Good job. <laughs> Do you see yourself? Come on. Oh my. Is that funny? So Liam has graduated his stair goal in physical therapy. So he is done with it because he does amazing, as you guys can see. I mean, he still stumbles and falls here and there, but he's doing so good. It's a little bit crazy. It's real life over here, but the table came yesterday. This is basically gonna be our charging table. I just don't know how I'm gonna organize all of the tablets yet. But yeah, I got tables. Got a fireplace. I've got a shelf in the corner, my sofa table. I'm still trying to find different places. And then we have a laundry basket in here just to make things easier. It's been an ordeal. I'm actually gonna be filming this weekend how things are going, kind of the update, just the update on everything. I figured it'd be good because I've been gone for five weeks. I kind of talk about how I'm doing emotionally, mentally, all of that good stuff. Like I have a whole list of videos I wanna play in, but I was so behind on work. You want TV? One thing I will say is all of the kids have progressed so much since we moved. It's been just amazing to watch because I was kind of worried that there would be regressions, right? Because that's usually what happens, but they have all been doing amazing. Liam says about 20 words now. He is just progressing so, so, so much. I had done a stream how I was like, well, if he doesn't start progressing soon, like, with ABA that we were just gonna remove him, but he's been just doing so good with it all and we're just so happy. It's happy, it's, it's, it's exciting stuff. I have to get some work done before I take Lonnie Jr. back to the dentist. We're having some things. He had his wisdom teeth removed two weeks ago all four of them because one was impacted and it went fine, like he did really good. Like he didn't need pain meds and then suddenly he started having more pain and they can't figure out if it's an infection or dry socket, but his pain in the last few days because we went to the dentist on Tuesday um, has gotten way worse. And Lonnie Jr., he has a crazy pain tolerance. <laughs> crazy pain tolerance. So the fact that he's in pain is like, mm. and he wanted to come over this weekend anyway because we're doing Christmas decorating. Gonna make it work. A few moments later. So guys, Liam and I. <laughs> 
Liam and I are playing Mario. Wait. <laughs> Can you say Mario? No. Say Donkey Kong. God. Just having some rest time. Therapy is downstairs with Penelope and PT is about to be here for Lux and ABA will be here for Lux and then I got I got to go. We're trying to beat Mario. <laughs> he actually does pretty good, guys. Good job, Liam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Many hours later. All right, guys, Noah's home. Kids are having a blast down there, so I figured I'd come up here and close out the vlog. I took Lonnie Jr. to the dentist, and we're just gonna keep watching out for it. But as far as Noah, Noah is doing great in his hinge brace, and I don't think I explained this, but basically, it's a hinge brace. So right now, we put it to 45 degrees, so that allows him to get that range of motion because for six weeks, his leg was completely straight, so it gets stuff. And so that range of motion is very important. He gets physical therapy three times a week, which is what he got it before the surgery as well. And we're just basically working on that. And then after Thanksgiving, he will go back to center, but we just wanna make sure his leg is completely healed. And so right now the hinge brace is at 45 degrees. And then he sees the, the doctor again, I think in a week and a half, uh, just because it's been so long since we actually went for the brace, but that's when they will like make it to 90 degrees and Hopefully after that, we're in the all clear to go ahead and just start slowly resuming things. This has definitely been a surgery that was not quick. We knew that, but honestly, guys, Noah did so, so, so amazing. Just because everything was going on with Lonnie and I, I didn't really film and vlog and do all those things because I was mentally not ready to but as far as like recovery like Noah did really really well like I did not know what to expect and he just did amazing and I was so proud of him I will say during Halloween he didn't complain of leg pain so I'm really having my fingers crossed that the surgery is going to help him so much more be more mobile be more independent all those things without being in pain I need to go get my nails done tomorrow <laughs> Look at that, look at that. So hard for me to find time to like just go and do it. I am going to try getting back into the swing of things because we're going into holiday season, which I always, always, always loved. Lots of things have changed and they will continue to change and we're just working out things, what works for us, what does it, and trying to figure it all out. I appreciate all the love, the patience, the understanding. All of you guys have just been absolutely amazing. So. I have a TikTok, our Landy crew. I post on it every now and then, not very often, but every now and then. And then I also have an Instagram that is a private Instagram, but you can request to follow it. It's not part of our brand or anything like that, but for anyone that wants to follow us during the periods where I don't post as much and you just kind of want to keep up to date with us, I would love that. Um, it's Steph Joe 725 but please be aware this is not an our landing crew account. Like, yes, I will post things of me. Yes, I will post things of the kids, but it's more of a Stephanie account. You will see things from like spiritual things and all of that. So if you are someone that believes spirituality is wrong and horrible, then I probably wouldn't follow that account. Again, this is just more about me, my own personal account where I can share things just because I felt like before so much of my identity got wrapped up in our landing crew. Like I literally became our landing crew. I feel like it's, it's hard to be a social media influencer or to have like a social media presence and not have that happen. But at the same time, I wanna have my own identity. But a lot of you guys have followed our family for so long. I don't mind sharing some of those things with you guys. We will see you guys on Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll see. Where you move?